Well, I tell you what, it's a chilly night here in the high country. Perfect time for what they call hearty food. And Robbie reckons she's got it sorted. I think what I, is I it? might. Yeah, well, this is actually a South African dish. Oh, well, we're not in South Africa. I'm going to get the pronunciation wrong. I think it's babuti. Babuti. Yeah, babuti. Yeah. Everyone loves a bit of babuti. <laughs> What's and I'll involved? tell you what, well, it's very hearty, it's nice and warm, and I'll tell you, there's also a lot of meat in it, which you well, love. Well, I don't mind that. <laughs> okay. Don't now, everything tastes better when you cook it with butter. Pop that butter in there for me. Righto. I think I can detect a bit of a sizzle. Now, we're just going to uh, pop the onion in with the butter, and we want it there just till it's translucent. So, we can uh, check in with you in probably a couple minutes' time. I'll see when the uh, onion is translucent. <laughs> Not clear then. <laughs> All right, Mako, well, that one's been going for, what, about five minutes? Yep, and I can see right through this onion. I would call it translucent. <laughs> OK, well, if you're going to continue to be so sniffy, I want you to deal with this. All right, there's okay. the meat. So we've got the mince in there. Do you want and... me just to keep breaking it up and stirring it through? Exactly right. You're I just don't want to do anything wrong. <laughs> The last thing I need is a reprimand from you tonight. You're very obedient this evening. Yeah, no, I am normally when it's this cold and I'm hungry. <laughs> Maka, I have to admit, you've done a great job. Oh, well, this mince is browned off. We're ready to make a couple of additions. So, oh, right. we are, of course, going to use some of your beef rub. Yes. I can be a little heavy handed with this one, so I'm going to let you guide me. Well, I'm going to let you go your hardest because I love it. Yeah, me too. What do you reckon? I reckon that's probably about right. Yeah, I agree. The great thing about this is that you don't actually have to add things like salt and pepper so much because it's all in there. All pre-salted. Yeah, so if you're a bit uh, a bit fond of the pepper, then add a little bit more, of course, but it's all in there. Salt, pepper, garlic. I'm not telling you all of them. It's a pretty good recipe. <laughs> OK, next up, we've just got a little bit of curry powder. Yes. Oh, I'm a big fan of the old curry powder. A lot of people don't eat it anymore. All oh, right, now salty. next up, this is going to be a controversial move. And I have to say... Oh, yeah. Look, it's... <laughs> whilst this is based on the South African recipe. I've made a few departures. This is in the original recipe, um, but certainly if there's anyone in the audience that knows this one well, they are gonna um, be looking at a few missing ingredients, but we have decided to include this today. Maka you has... used the word we very loosely. <laughs> I was gonna say, mac has got a, a bit of an issue with fruit and meat, mm. um, but I'm okay with it, so. I'm not a guy that likes the savory mixed in with the sweet, you know? Like, you have that for dessert, and you just have... Anyway, it's your recipe, we're going for it. <laughs> We've got about three quarters of a cup of sultanas in here, and they're just going straight in at this stage. And we're going to continue to stir, at the to stir that, <laughs> and uh, they're going to absolutely swell with a beautiful curried meat juice. Ooh, la la! Well, I'll tell you right now, my mother's sitting at home as we speak, going, "I used to put him in his food, and he didn't like it then." And there's Robbie there, still trying to. Put... <laughs> okay, G'day, I have Mum. got four eggs. You're a ripper cook, but just keep the sultanas out, all right? So just into this mixture of whisked up uh, four eggs, I'm just going to pop about half a cup or so of milk. I think you've done an absolutely stellar job there. So do I. And what we're going to do now, and I don't know if you can see in here, is we're just going to pat down. So we don't want the surface of this one to be very porous at all, OK? I've had this job taken off me, clearly. <laughs> the, the spoon has been removed. Okay, I'm going to pour this one just straight over the top. It's a nice even coating right over the top there. We'll just sort of give it a bit of a swirl around. I'm liking this. Are you into it? Yeah. And now, all you need to do is pop the lid on. That's going to cook the top. The heat of the meat is going to cook through the egg. It's going to set, as I said, like a little... I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> on seal. And we'll get back to you in a few minutes when it's cooked. Maka, we've been waiting, what, maybe 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, I reckon. I think it's time to lift the lid. Ooh, it's that moment. And what I'm hoping to see is some of that gorgeous butter rising to the top. Oh. And we're going to have that layer of egg underneath. Aren't you painting the picture there? And then underneath that, the mince and sultanas. And sultanas. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's have a little look. OK. Ta-da! Oh. Ooh! Oh, I think Robbie's done this. Oh, it smells. <laughs> it smells good, doesn't it? Oh, my word. Now, how hungry are you? Well, I'll tell you what, I could eat a horse, but we haven't got any horse. We've just got mince and sultanas and eggs. Have a look at oh. that. Cheers. Is this the bit where we try it? Yeah. Give it a lash, eh? How hot is it? Very really hot. Oh. Yum. Oh. How good is that? 